under a mosquito net, the lengths some have to go to to ensure they can eat their dinner in peace without being bothered by flies. It's awful, it's dreadful, it's cooking food at tea time with, with 15 flies surrounding you, trying to keep the flies away from your kids' food while, whilst they're eating it, sat at the table batting flies away, everything that you do throughout your day, you're constantly battling against the flies. Armed with fly tape and fly swatters that zap their prey, householders say they're fighting a losing battle with the insects and traders say they've lost business as their premises have had to be fumigated. The flies took hold in damaged bales of biofuel being stored here at Avonmouth Docks by the Stonehouse based company Boom Eco Limited. The Environment Agency has now stripped them of their licence to operate and the site has been cleared and fumigated. The problem is the flies have moved elsewhere. Residents say someone needs to take responsibility and get rid of them. Well, I think the port company are, are more responsible because they allowed that company to go on there. That's the reason why we're being contaminated by all these flies. OK, they've got rid of the company, but they haven't still dealt with the issue of what we're suffering with every day, day in and day out. We, we, we're saying to them, if, if you're happy with it to be like this, come and live our lives for a week or so. See how much you like having to put up with the flies. The port company says it's already fumigated and there's not much else it can do adding that the city council is offering a free fly spray and fumigation of residents' homes. But the local MP isn't satisfied. She's now secured a parliamentary debate on the issue next week. What's been appalling is that residents have had flies for months now, and instead of getting in there and acting to clear them up, all the agencies responsible have been bickering about who should be doing the clearing up. The debate I want to have is to try and clarify if this happens again, if something does happen, how can we make sure that residents get action ASAP and don't have this bureaucracy jellyfish blobbing around having meetings and putting out reports and assessments when people have flies all over their homes. In the meantime, residents continue to be plagued by the unwanted invaders. They have a protest planned for the weekend and say they will continue their struggle to be freed of the pests. Rebecca Broxton, ITV News, Avonmouth.